Now that we have our results table, we can now graph our data. We're going to be using a bar graph because we have categories or words on the x-axis. If we had numbers, we could use a line or a scatter graph. If you put enough information on your table, then this will flow over into your graph and you'll need to type less. So I'm going to delete this results table, this graph and show you how to make it. So what we have to do is graph the values that we changed, which is this column, over what we measured or calculated. So in this case, it could be percentage mass change of the dialysis tube or the class average. What this is showing us is did liquid move into or out of the tube. Sometimes it's easier to see as a graph. So to select our columns, we click and drag down to select what we changed, hold the control key, click and drag to select what we measured. We need to come over to this icon, which is our chart. When we click it, the first chart that automatically pops up is a bar chart. As you can see, we've got our percentage change in mass. We're going to add some more information to this because what changed in mass? Here we have our dialysis tube and the liquid that is in it. We have no results for our glucose and water because our difference was zero. It gives us a very basic title, but we're going to delete that. If we accidentally click outside, you can see that the chart editor disappears. To get this back, we click on our graph, find these three buttons, click on them again, and edit chart. And our editor is back. We basically don't touch the setup at all. What we do though, is if we want to change our graph. And later we'll change our column chart down through to a scatter graph. That's when we've got numbers and numbers. But at the moment, we're just going to use our customize. Chart style is where we change our background color. If you're going to change it, please be nice to my tired old eyes and make it a nice pale color. I prefer to leave it white, so I'm not changing style. We will be playing around with this and changing a lot. Normally it opens up on the last thing that you used, so chart title. We don't want the chart title, so we're going to delete it. We then click again and we come and look at our horizontal axes. And this is dialysis tube. If we had numbers in the long the bottom here, we would need to include units. But because it's a bar graph and we have categories, we don't need to include units. Now we want to modify our vertical axes. At the moment, it says percentage change in mass. Change in mass of what? Was that the liquid in the measuring cylinder or the liquid in the dialysis bag? So we're going to include in dialysis bag. If the label becomes too long, you can come over and change the font size. We will play around later with all these other different things when we create a scatter graph. So now we want to go and we want to copy our graph. We can copy our graph two ways. We can either press the Control C to copy or come up to our edit and our copy. Now we've copied our graph. I'll just move it at the moment because I want to show you why we, ch we, why we paste our results table and our graph as linked to the spreadsheet in our Google Doc. I'm going to make a change to this heading here. So I don't know what the solvent is, so our solvent was water, so I want to add water. And I just hit the Enter key, and I need to make some formatting change, so I'm just going to click in here and add a couple more space bars. 
and enter and I've now got that down here. I'm changed to my document and I now can see I've got an update. This means I've made a change to my results table in the sheets. I'm going to be looking at this cell because I'm going to expect to see brackets and water. So I'll click update and there's my water. The formatting didn't come through so I can click include a few space bars and it now looks nicer. For our graph, we want to insert it down here. So I can insert the graph two ways. I can either go Control V to paste it, or I go Edit and Paste. I want to link it, so if I need to make changes to my graph, I can make those changes in my spreadsheet, and they will automatically flow over to here. Last year, we could make simple graph titles. So a graph showing how the ch percentage change in mass of the dialysis tube changed as we changed the solution that it was soaking in, glucose or water. This year, we need to add a little bit more information. We need to include the time and the temperature that the tube was soaking for. So our title will be now a graph showing how the average percentage change in mass of the dialysis tube changes as we use different soaking solutions of glucose and water. So we'll type that. Now we need to include how long did we soak the tube and what was the temperature that we soaked it at. Now we need to put the degrees C symbol in here, so what we want to do is we go insert and special character. Over here in the search area we type degree and you can see that we've now got our degree C. If we just want our degree symbol by ourselves, let's click on this button. So we want the degree C, so I click on degree C, close and here is my degree C. And that is how we make a graph and a results table. Now what we also can do is our chart can be, our chart title here can also be used for our results table title. And we just change this from a graph to table. Happy graphing!